Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Surviving with Buildcraft 6 here with me, Chillum. Intro done. Success, right. Um, we have, uh, I've done some things, things have been changed. Uh, due to the limitations, hang on, I've got dog hair in my mouth, ew. Pooey. Mm, nice, excuse me. Uh, due to the limitations of the delivery bots, only, um, only picking up one item at a time, uh, what I decided to do was to hook everything up with a pipe network over towards our new sorting room so we've done some things now you can see here we've got a pipe going across and it's picking up at last we're picking up all of the sugar cane good gods that was spilling out all over the place we have the potato farm hooked up um do we maybe we do i'm not sure if i hooked up the potato plant but we've definitely got the old wheat farm here and i'm going to drop down in a second to show you but you can see the pipeline extends around the proprietor he picks up all the stuff that goes into this chest which is now the default drop-off chest for anything the picker there he is hey cool guy anything the picker picks up gets put in there uh, and you can see all of this stuff is slowly getting filtered off to this chest over there in fact there's our picker bot now dropping off some hmm, dropping off some wool we're getting a lot of wool so if i drop down um oh not too bad ah brilliant if you do it from the roof that's three hearts worth of damage awesome um so yeah all we've got is uh, extraction pipes essentially uh this one just saying you know pulse everything out of here anything that gets delivered in here which will be everything but the seeds because i believe seeds are still getting put into here yes they are look at that success this is all working rather well Ooh, weird burp gurgly um do, 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 do. yeah so the pickup has got to get some more wheat no problemo oh it's got some seeds at the moment interesting anywho so his stuff, all of this stuff comes along here, filters through these pipes. We've got the same thing going on here. Now I used an emerald extraction pipe for some reason, I can't remember why. Um, there's no reason. It's got no blacklist or whitelist being used on it, so it's just pulling everything out of this chest. I think it was to see whether or not it would extract items faster than the wooden pipe, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, <laughs> to be honest. But it does allow you some control with uh, blacklisting and whitelisting, which items do get extracted from the chest, but it's kind of pointless in that case anywho well we have these these are awesome as he suggested this during a stream he said using the facades because i was using facades along the edge here because i wanted a way of connecting this pipe to the structure so it looks like it's you know attached rather than just sort of free floating so as he suggested using facades here with fence posts and by jiminy they do look good so yeah it looks like we've got a supported pipe network going all the way over here oh there he goes um and into our box which instantly has stuff extracted because we have the system there you can see another pipe going down and under which is leading over there <coughs> excuse me um all the wool is just getting pumped straight into the delivery system as well so i don't think it's i think it just hooks up with the same pipe that comes out of this box and everything gets sent through this is really really cool now at this end we had major changes because of course we had the delivery bots going in there originally but now we have some funky new machine and we have this which we'll get to in a little while <laughs> but over here um well i'll show you the baker bot is doing his funky thing, as is the sugar making bot. We've got a guy making sugar. Now I did try to make a cake bot during the stream, but it turns out um, these crafting bot guys don't have the inventory space <laughs> to actually be able to craft a cake. They can get all the ingredients, um, but they can only get one of the buckets because buckets don't stack. So they're missing, like they just, just don't have the capacity to actually make a cake. It was almost there when it collected everything else. It was so close. Uh, but then in the end we worked out that that was the problem so in here this is all changed where we had delivery bots coming in and dropping items in through these holes everything is now pumped in through this system here and what we have da, 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 is a bca sortatron which is probably massively underused in this case but you can get the idea it paints all these items these specific colors which is awesome uh, except we've got uh, there's a weird thing going on with the last maybe this has been fixed hang on um what color do i what swatch that color be what are you? Are you beef? You're not beef. You're beef. Beef. Beef should be red. Hang on, this looks so you should be in red, like so. I'm not sure. We did find a weird little bug. It's probably been fixed by now where the last column of the Sortatron wasn't being used properly for some reason. But anyhow, what happens is those items get coloured, and then we have these awesome, awesome um, Buildcraft filters on the edge of these pipes. And you can see here we're using coloured pipes to keep everything nicely separated. Uh, clay ones as well, which is awesome. This is our overflow system for everything as well. Did somebody just come in there? Sneaky. Um, so the items come in, get pulled towards their respective boxes. The clay pipe tries to insert them into said box, and if it can't, it should drop them down into the overflow system. And we just have an overflow plug connected to each one. I don't think any of these have got fully full yet. No, no, it's all good. But um, we also have, there you go, some wheat going past in green. Oh, there we go. 
a little bit of sugarcane in yellow. That's awesome, man. Those farms, those farms are just churning it out. It is grand. Um, also, I forgot to mention, there is a default coloration here. The default color, anything that uh, comes through that isn't listed in here is pink. And, uh, whoops. Let's get around here. Ah, oh, man, come on. And uh, end up getting pulled into this box. It comes all the way to the end and yoinked into here, which shows us all the other stuff. We even have an example cake. Oh, we might put that in the barbecue area. Anywho, so that's all working splendidly well. We are collecting all of our stuffs produced by the farm. Uh, we're going to have to start breeding some more cows, I think. That is definitely on the cards. But today, another thing I want to do is all a little bit BCA. So hopefully we're going to get the BCA BQ <laughs> working. And I was having a little think. I designed these little barbecue areas. And I did have this all blocked off here. But then I thought I want to control the gate that we're going to have on the top here that accepts the meat by conditions based upon the box where the stuff's going to get delivered, which needs some explaining. So let's build some stuff. All right, let's... Uh, did I only have two? Ah, oh, dang it. I wonder where I put the rest, never mind. Um, and I don't have a wooden pipe either, that would be handy. So the plan is, I'm going to do it quickly because there's one other thing I want to do. I'm not going to build both barbecue setups now. There we go, got some wooden pipes. Awesome. I've got all sorts of good pipes. Mm -mm -mm. Fantastic. Right. I'm going to build the one that's going to handle the beef today and then uh, I'm going to do the rest off camera. This one here, you can see I haven't got the heated furnace in there yet. We have basic kinetic coils, or basic coils even here, which take coal. And uh, what we're going to do is, this is going to become a little bit annoying with these holes in the floor. What I'm going to do is we're going to have a box here, which is going to hold us um, the fuel, which will be a bunch of coal. In fact, let's just do that now to a degree. Whoops, oh, I've got this all wrong, didn't I? Oh, yeah. uh, let's fill the box up. And there we go. I think I only need, maybe I only need this stack, actually. I probably brought too much with me. Let's have a look. That's a lot. That's a lot, anyhow. That's going to be plenty for now. Now we'll just chuck them in at the end, it should be fine. Right, so that's going to be our fuel source for our robots, which is going to be fine. And we're going to do the usual, if requested, provide here jobby. Is that just a normal one? Yeah, that is a normal one. Nice. And then down here, we're going to place our output chest. But first of all, I want to do that. Now, mm -mm -mm. yeah, yeah, that's right. I had a little think about this. What we actually need to do is draw the meat over one. I think this will work. I don't know. Let's see. I've just taken out. I might have taken out too much stuff there. Um, it might actually be a case that it would be better to do it this direction, to be honest. Like so. And then we're just going to have a chest here. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm wondering. Yeah, I kind of want to have a clause separately for each one, actually. Let's take that down. Um, but we do need a space of at least one for the chests so we can distinguish between what's in the chest and what's, um, good girl, hold on, rebuilding with the pipes, dink. So what we can do is we can place a gate on there and it will only read what's inside the heated furnace. Now, A Enterprise, don't shout at me for once again, not using auto eject uh, upgrades for my BCA machines. Uh, I don't have I don't have the ender pearls to make it. I'm afraid they they, they just cost too much. So we're going to use the old um, uh, old old target gate here, which is going to be an expensive one. But hey, that's all cool, and that's just going to be responsible for sucking out the meats. All good. Uh, in turn, I want to put another gate on here. In fact, we can build this one up now. Let's do the conditional gate on this because we want to do that, and I want to get a bunch of green wiring, which isn't going to affect anything but this so that's cool and what we're going to do is not that brilliant let's go with that we're going to get the gate and we're going to say if we have less than 25 percent of something which will be cooked beef then we want to send a green pipe signal basically i think is that working that's not doing it contains less than 25 percent oh we haven't given it the condition yet so i need maybe i need to cook to meat as an example i hope i've got one somewhere <laughs> Ah oh man, we're going to have to actually cook up a piece of beef, quite possibly. Do I have one on me? Nope. Yeah, I might have <laughs> done these as a tester and then... Uh, let's take an example of a raw one as well. Although, to be fair, I could just use a raw one before I cook it. Imagine. <laughs> Anywho, let's get around here, near. Let's quickly cook you. Because that should be fine. There should be... Oh, I haven't put any fuel in the actual doohickers yet. Let's take 32 of you each so we're going to put 32 in there and what we're going to do is the conditions for those are going to be fulfilled by a robot 
um, which will be cool and we'll do it on them having half a stack of fuel in them but we'll get to that in a little while this should be cooking my beef <laughs> thank you and then we can add that condition to here and we're just going to say if you've got less than 25 percent then send a green pipe signal there we go that's cool that is cool right so around the back where i wanted originally to have brick and stuff what we're actually going to do is build up some structure pipes and we're going to have a green signal coming all the way to the top uh, i'm pretty sure i put a gate here somewhere i did i've been running around these random gates around here just to make this easier to leg it around and that's going to connect to here fantastic so uh, on the top <laughs> you can see where this is going we're just going to put that there we will have our gate there why not and we're just going to say if you're receiving a green pipe signal then request raw beef hopefully hopefully that'll be all right i think that's going to be fine so as long as this is 25 percent or less we're going to say keep sending me stuff that's awesome right we need an autarkic doohickey on this pipe oh god it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze let's see we're gonna put it <laughs> there maybe no it's gonna be on the wrong side i can't get the angle cannot get the angle on the dangle let's get over here that's better right so you what we're going to say with you is put them away uh if you have items inventory where are you items in inventory cooked steak pulse boom so if you've got cooked steak in there get it the bejesus out that should be it for that that's looking all very exciting so that's cool which means if we actually place some bots down in the world um, we should have them start working on stuff. That's really cool. We're going to need to use the old doohickey as well. Uh, mapping area to give these bots a working space. But you seem to be done. That's good. You're emptying. So what we'll do is we'll add more gates. <laughs> it's all about these gates, man. These quartz gates is where it is at. Um, this guy is going to be very simply saying if we have do, 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 less than half of our coal... Let's grab some of that. Do, 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 do. Less than 50% coal, then you want to be requesting coal. That's awesome. And we'll take a copy of this gate clause because we're going to use it on the other side. So I think it's just right click. Yep, copy the information. Do, 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 do. And over here, we can do the same thing with the gate there. And that's and shift right click. Boom. Copy to do hickey. Do, 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 do. Request. So there we go. That's pretty spangly. So we've got the whole system set up, ready to cook us meat, I think. Right, in that case, let's go use that mapper. Whoop, whoop, squeeze, nice. Yes, there is a death marker there. <laughs> For anybody that knows this, don't ask. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to tell the um, cooker bots, essentially, our delivery guys, whoops, I keep doing that. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say in, not pink, pink, purple, is purple free? Purple is free. Right, so the purple ones, we're going to say your cooking area and everything you're doing is in there. Let's just get that going like so. Oh, dang it. Plus, curses. Add your cooking area like so. Uh -huh. And we're going to say all your stuff is inside this building as well. So that's your working area for that. Let us, uh, we'll use that one so it stays all wibbly wobbly. That'd be cool. <laughs> there we go. If you can hear creepy music in the background, that's an ice cream fan. <laughs> How random. Um, uh, what was I doing? So yeah, we've got the map location. This is awesome. We should should be able to get these guys going. What I need is an on-off switch, as always. <laughs> it's because I like controlling my bots. I want the barbecue bots to work when I want them to, not when they want to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, there's a bit of a whistle, sorry. <laughs> One of them... And some wood. Do, 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 do. Give me some sticks, not a button. A little bit of that and a lever. Thank you very much. Right. Wow, oh, did I see slabs in there? No, I'm just making stuff up. Right, I'm just going to put some co cobblestone down <laughs> just so it's not uh, too freaking messy for the time being. Okay, let's just lay this out because that's where another chest is going to go. Do, 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 do. Yes, okay, cool. Up. I knew it was coming. It's been building up all episode. <laughs> right, you are going to be pretty simply, um, if you have mm -hmm, uh, items in the inventory you want to provide. 
Oops. Hey. Oh, hello. No, there we go. So you are just providing the coal. That's fantastic. And what we should do... We should plonk that there. We should put a lever on the floor next to it. Like so. Another gate. And... Just the one delivery bot for now, I think. Uh, and with you, we're going to say, if you've got no redstone signal... Do, 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 if you've got redstone signal, you are too... Oh my god, where is it? Go to station and working area. Yes. So that's that. I think this is about to work. There's three of our delivery bots we took down from over the other side. Put you on. Now, the question is, what are you going to fulfill first? Oh, he's fulfilling the meat order. That's awesome, because these guys should be on as well. It should be trying to get coal at some point. So, there he goes. He's plonked it in. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's place another one on the back here. Maybe this guy will pick up the uh, coal orders. We shall see. Oh, he's off as well. Oh, yep. One's getting coal. Look at that. <laughs> it works like a charm. And the meat is still going in, streaming into the system. Hopefully, we've got one down there. Hopefully, still. Is it pumping out? You're cooking. You're cooking. You're delivering. Oh, no. Uh... Ooh, there's one. Where's my meat gone? <laughs> oh, there it goes. It is coming in. I only had the one in there. Fantastic. There we go. So while that's less than 25% full of meat specifically, did I say? I did. That's kind of cool. We'll do that. So there we go. That's our BCA BQ. <laughs> BCA BQ. Not bad. I'm loving it. So yeah, one bot is handling the requests for the fuel, which... I believe we're going to be few and far between. 31. You should be on and requesting. Yep, requesting items. Fantastic. Good stuff. Right. Let me just check the time of the uh, length of the episode. And we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're going to have a look at something else fun with BCA. Something that's new. We're just going to knock up a couple of these Tier 1 Kinetic Capsules. Because all I want to try and make today is something new to this version. I don't know. I may get this wrong. I may get this right. Uh, we have a kinetic backpack, and for that we need conductive plating. Conductive plating comes from raw conductive plating. Raw conductive plating comes from gilded red metal dust, which in turn comes from gold, iron, and redstone dust, which is pretty sweet. That I have prepared, uh, except for the redstone, which... Hey, yeah, swore I picked some up and decided to do stuff with it. There we go. That should do. We're only going to need a little bit of that. My god, it's my inventory. Right, let's chuck some rubbish. You can see I've just come, <laughs> just come from the barbecue build. Oh, look. Stone slabs. Good God, <laughs> I've been there all the time, brilliant. Right, let's grab some gold, grab some iron, got some redstone. And pop back over here. So I believe, let's have a look at that. So you are, we're not going to need that much. So we'll take, I don't know, 36. Yeah, that'll do. 36 will do for the moment. Then you 4x4 four four that. More accurate at least than that. We've got 6, <laughs> 9. I think nine, whoops, no, we're going to do this maybe next time, and I've got some diamonds, by the way. <laughs> the old portable laser, I just haven't got the stuff for it. I cannot afford it right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, 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 that's awesome. And while we're here, I think we've got enough iron to make ourselves, whoops, kabloom, the old backpack stand, which is pretty sweet. So we'll plug you down somewhere straight away. Give me the iron. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Where would you go? That looked pretty sweet. Uh, we'll probably put you, actually, let's put you next to the charger unit. Ooh, hell yeah. I wonder which side that, hmm, I don't know, maybe that's facing the wrong way. I think it might be facing the wrong way. We'll find out. We will find out. Right, we need to cook this stuff up into normal stuff. Look at the speed of that. <laughs> oh man, leather. Oh no. Oh yes, sweet. Spot of luck. So, the kinetic backpack. <laughs> so the idea is, I think you plug kinetic um, capsules to this. And I don't know, do you craft them together? Somehow, this is the bit I don't know how you do. <laughs> Maybe you need to access the backpack like you would a tool. Maybe I need to go and talk to a Enterprise, <laughs> quite possibly. Does that do anything in there? No, it's got no charging with it. We can charge the capsules in advance. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to do the other one. Um, because look at the coloration as it goes up. Red, pink, yellow. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. I love that. That's a nice, nice little touch. Uh, I wonder how you use these. I honestly don't know. Dang, no clue. Does it look good on me? Oh, I bet it does. Hang on. Oops. Give them back. Da, 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 da. Yeah, look at that. 
Kinetic backpack. Oh, right. It gives you the armor of iron armor as well, apparently. That's pretty sweet. Hold on. Whoop. No. If I... Um... Mm, I wonder... <laughs> I don't know how to craft it together, ridiculously enough. Let's place it on the stand, just to see if that's the right way around. And then I'm going to quickly get in touch with the Enterprise. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Does it need to be on there to be interacted with? No, can I... No. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Put it on the stand. And... Do, 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 do. Then you could apply the capsules. Oh! <laughs> Take the whole thing off. Shift right click, yeah, put it on, and boom, that's awesome. So my kinetic multi-tool, ah, interesting, hang on, let's have a look. If I, hmm, if I do this, and I take out my kinetic capsule, do I still have power to my tool? Does it still work? Out of power, out of power. What? I thought the backpack was meant to power me. It's got, oh, it's not quite full, that's interesting. Hold shift for more info. Uh, oh, hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, we got that, we got that, we got that. I thought this was the backpack was meant to do the thing. The thing was the thing. Well, either way. Maybe I got it wrong. I'm sure Enterprise will let me know. <laughs> but for now, kablooey. Look at that thing. It's freaking awesome. I want to repower my tool for the time being. But yeah, there we go. The kinetic backpack. That is sweet. Right. I'm going to scoot on that note and uh, say thank you very much for watching. We've got the BCA BQ going and the farm is working like a charm. So very, very happy about this. Cool, whoops. As always, struggling with the door, right? Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And once again, as always, I will see you next time. Cheers.